congratulations on choosing Weatherables, where the only thing stronger than our products is the service that comes with them. At Weatherables, we know that the best products start with the best materials, which is why you can be sure that your fence is made of the highest grade materials to create the strongest, most durable, and low maintenance product anywhere. In this video, we'll walk you through the proper installation of your Plymouth Picket Fence. Let's get started. First, set your gate posts with the aluminum inserts, being sure to allow enough space to accommodate both the gate panel and the gate hardware. You'll also want to allow a clearing of at least two inches between the bottom of the panel and the ground. This is a critical step since the gate will set the height for the rest of the fence. After marking the locations of your fence posts, begin digging the post holes for the panels. The holes should be 30 to 36 inches deep and 10 inches in diameter for 4x4 four four inch posts and 12 inches in diameter for 5x5 five five inch posts. Now you can start by installing post A in the first hole with concrete around the post. Be sure to level and plumb this post for proper placement. It's important to have post B sitting in the adjacent hole but not cemented so you can assess alignment. Next, slide the bottom rail, the one with the aluminum insert, and the top rail into the routed holes in post A. The top rail will have routed holes on the top and bottom of the rail. You want to make sure that the larger routed holes are facing towards the ground. Next, slide the bottom rail and then the top rail into post B. Pour concrete around post B to about 3 inches below ground level. Level and plumb. Repeat down the fence line to install the remaining posts and rails. Once all of the posts and rails are in place, it's time to insert the pickets. Insert the pickets with the notch side down through the routed holes in the top rail and into the bottom rail. The notches at the end of each picket will allow the picket to lock securely into the rail. Continue inserting pickets into all additional panels. Finally, place a small drop of glue on the inside of each picket before putting the picket cap in place. The glue dries quickly, so you'll want to place the glue on the picket and then immediately install the cap, one picket cap at a time. Before you begin the installation process, be sure to also watch the layout and post installation instruction video. This fence can accommodate a slope if installed using the racking or stepping method. Refer to the installation guide to determine the exact slope your fence can accommodate and the best method of installation. Thank you for choosing Weatherables, and when it's time to think outside the fence, ask about our railing and other outdoor living products to add even more style and function to your outdoor space.